Hello everyone, this is Mang Sang V and I'm back with another scenario based report studio video. So in this scenario, we need to give the flexibility to the end user that they are able to sort their list based on their requirement. In this report, if you are able to see, we have two drop downs. This one is for select on which column we need to perform order. And the second drop down is the order type, whether it is ascending or descending. Okay, so right now by default selection is one for both the prompt. Our list is sorted in ascending order based on the ID column. And now if I'm going to change it to first name, then our report, our list is now sorted according to the first name in ascending order. And if you are going to change it to descending, now your list is sorted in descending order based on the first name. Now how I created this report for this I am going to open report studio. This is my report studio and as usual first thing I want to delete everything. So the best way to delete everything I am going to delete this page. Okay and I want to remove this variable also. So I am going to right click. Uh, I am going to select and delete. So uh, this is my report page. I think your E was also deleted. Now I am going to create a new report page. I am going to select page here and I am going to say the report name is I am going to say sorting order or custom sorting report. So this is my report page. I am going to click on this double click to open this report. And inside this, I am going to add a query first. I want to add my query first. So I am going to click on queries and my data is available inside my database. For this, I not created any FM model. So I am directly going to drag and drop SQL here and I am going to name this first. I am going to name this as a, let's say this is my query for employee. Okay, and inside the SQL, inside the SQL node, first I am going to select the data source. I am going to select test DB. Okay, and the next thing I am going to name it SQL employee. And finally, we are going to type our select statement select, select star from table employee. I hope. Uh, the, I hope the table name is correct. Click on validate. Uh, yeah, it is fine. And once done, I'm going to click on OK. Now, this is our query and this is the columns available inside our query. So the first one is ID, first name, last name, age and salary. Okay. I don't want to perform any operations on ID, first name and last name. So I'm going to select these three columns. I'm going to say aggregate function for this three columns to be none and roll up aggregate function again none. Now I'm going to add a new column inside my query and I'm going to add a new data item and this column uh, and this column we are going to use for sorting. So I'm going to drag and drop data item and I'm going to name it a column order. Okay. And in this, uh, for the timing, just uh, type one. We are going to change the expression definition letter. So click on OK and our column is ready. We are going to use this column to sort our list. Okay. So finally, I want to change the aggregation function for this. So I'm going to say aggregate function none and roller aggregate function none. Now I'm going to open my report page. So this is my report page, custom sorting report and inside this I am going to add a table. So this is my table and I want to add one column and four rows for my table and inside my first row I am going to add another table with two columns and two rows. Now inside the second table in first row, first column, I'm going to add a text item. This is my text item and I'm going to say this is our sorting column. 
and I'm going to, to again add a text item in the second row first column and I'm going to say sorting order okay few value prompts so this is for first value prompt for selecting the column now this is the first value pro prompt which is storing all the available columns and based on the selected column we need to display the list okay so I'm going to rename my parameter to p underscore sort and finally I'm going to click on finish add another value prompt so I'm going to drag and drop and this value prompt is for our sort order so I'm going to say uh, order whether it is ascending or descending and I'm going to click on finish so I'm going to select my first value prompt and now I'm going to change its uh, static choice contents so I'm going to add some static choice so I'm going to click on this ellipse button I want to add a new and I'm going to save one for ID then similarly I'm going to add two for first name three for last name four for edge and finally five is for our salary five salary okay this is done click on ok and I'm going to change this to auto submit I want to hide adornments yes uh, for default selection I'm going to say I want to make my ID column as a default so I'm going to click uh, type 1 and click on ok the next thing I want the header text to be none so I'm going to select this and specify text inside the specified text I'm not going to provide any text and I'm going to click on ok the same changes I need to done for my second value prompt inside this I'm going to change my header text to specify text click on ok then I need to provide some static choice in this we are going to add two values one for ascending and another for descending so this is one for ascending and two for descending uh, des click on ok click on ok and our value prompts are ready uh, one thing I forgot uh, I think I need to change the auto submit type so I'm going to click on yes and I want to make it yes okay that's it mm, save your report and now we are going to add our list inside our report page so I'm going to select every column and I'm going to drag and drop just here select this drag and drop just here okay so this is our first list uh, we are going to use this to display the list in ascending order and I'm going to create a copy of this list uh, I'm going to use the second list for showing the contents in descending order so let me quickly copy ctrl c and I'm going to paste it just here okay now select your column order and for the first list I want its order to be in ascending and for second list I'm going to select the same column and this okay now based on our p underscore order we need to display appropriate list for this we are going to use a string variable so I'm going to open my conditional explorer click on variables and from the toolbox I'm going to add a string variable and I'm going to use my p order parameter and I'm going to use my param value I don't want to use display value so I'm going to use param value click on ok and finally I want to change its name so I'm going to name it let's say string variable uh, list renderer okay finally inside values I'm going to two values one for ascending and two for descending and last we are going to open our report page and now we are going to set the render variable so for our first list I'm going to select my list renderer and the value for which we need to render is 1 
click on OK and now I'm going to click uh, select my second list again render variable same SVE list renderer and this time the value is 2 save your report once again and now we need to change the content for column order for this I'm going to click on my report I'm going to click on my list and finally I'm going to say go to query okay inside my column order double click to open and in the expression definition I don't want this one anymore so I'm going to delete this and now I'm going to open parameters and inside parameters I'm going to add p sort and I am going to use a case statement case statement so whenever my p sort is equals to 1 when it is 1 then I need to sort my list based on id column so I am going to drag and drop id here so I am going to quickly copy this when statement uh, 4 more times so I am going to paste it 4 more times and for second value I am going to for second when statement I am going to use value 2 th 3 4 and 5 for 2 I need to use first name for 3 I need to use last name and for 4 we are using edge and for the fifth when statement we are using salary and finally in we need to end this case statement so this is our case statement which we are going to use for the content of column order Just click on ok and now you are ready to run your report save your report and run your report we didn't set the default value for sorting order so let me select ascending and now your report is generated successfully now, this is your main column and this is your sorting column uh, we are not going in our main report we don't want to display this column for this we are going to again open report studio and in the report studio we need to see column and we are going to change its box type to none okay same thing we need to perform for our header select the header and box type for this is none same thing we need to perform in our second list i'm going to this time i'm going to select the columns and the header of the column and i'm going to select the box type for this to none and one thing uh, we need to assign a default value for sorting order so i'm going to select this value prompt and finally i need to provide a default selection i'm going to click on this ellipse button and i'm going to add default selection for my sorting order value prompt click on ok save your report and execute it again I'm able to see my report is sort based on the id column in ascending order if i'm going to change my sorting order to descending my report is generated and it is now sorted in descending order based on the id column now if you want to change the column name then you can change it so this is the first name this is last name age salary and sorting order so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video don't forget to click on like subscribe share it to your friend and see you all count out report studio video